Am I looking at you? Just, sorry, am I looking at you? Yeah, or? I would have a conversation. What do you do to unwind and relax? What do I do to unwind and relax? Yeah. I like to find a beach um, somewhere and uh, vacation. <laughs> and I mean, so I don't get to unwind and relax on a regular basis. Uh, I have three kids and very active as the CEO of our company and all that stuff. So it's just kind of like go, 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 go until vacation time comes. And then we spend two weeks in Hawaii right. or Barbados or right. Bahamas or somewhere like that. And I've seen some of those photos on Instagram and they're, they're lovely. So that was a random question, wasn't it? Sure. Yeah. So you're an influencer. You're very well known within the marketing field. So when someone approaches you, a brand approaches you with a very random <laughs> question, how do you respond? How do I respond? Yeah. Hmm. With whatever's off the top of my head. You know, I mean, if I can intone what their intent is, and if I understand who they are, and then I look at the language of the question, then I'm going to try and guess what it is that they're getting at and try and give a meaningful answer of some kind. But otherwise, it'll be pretty random. Okay. How do you like to be approached and engaged? Well, if someone's done their homework. I mean, if they're expecting me to give a competent, knowledgeable, authoritative, influential type of answer, then my expectation is that they've done a little bit of homework in advance mm -hmm. and they're asking a very relevant and meaningful sort of question. Mm -hmm. Also, I think it's important that they empathize with what I might want to get out of it. Right. You know, because it's often, well, what can you, you know, you do for me, says the brand. What can you do for me? Right. And it's right. not really about, well, what would you like to get out of this? I'd like to get that. Well, how about if we got that for you by doing, you know what I mean, You're making a connection. Right. Right, so making it valuable to you as an influencer. Yeah, with empathy and some homework, you can right. be very effective at asking an influencer something right. that's going to be motivating for them to be a participant in. Right, right. Now, you, you've kind of really touched on this, so I'll ask it anyway. Maybe there's some other way that you might want to frame it up, but what are some mistakes to avoid? What are some things that brands shouldn't do when they're trying to engage influencers like yourself? Well, ironically, I just published a blog post with 50 answers to your question at toprankblog.com. But um, I guess, you know, there's everything from being accurate, being to the point. You know, there's a lot of long-winded, never get to the point types of asks. Um, not, not softening the field, as it were, by making getting on my radar somehow is a very effective thing to do and then the ask afterwards is and I don't mean following me on Twitter then five seconds later saying hey can you send a thousand word article tomorrow no um, I mean it depends on who they are but probably no so um, I think showing empathy um, you know again relevant meaningful type of ask it's relevant to me um, succinct clear to the point and the value back to me is extremely clear mm -hmm. the other thing would be easy for me to execute right, on it. Right. You know? Right. You got it. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you bet.